How does a water well work? Basically, when it rains, the water is sucked into the ground. This is because the water wants to get to an area of low concentration. Then, the water tries to find its way to the ocean or cave or something. But to do that, the water has to carve its own path. Just like how I had to carve my own way out of prison after I got arrested for insurance fraud. Well, haha, <laughs> get it? To get to the groundwater, you could just dig a hole. This water is flowing through an aquifer, which is just wet dirt. And the water level is called the water table for some reason. So, the water passes through like clay, dirt, and whatever else. That's when you strike it. Seriously, you dig wells where there is flowing water. So when you take some water out, it fills back in. But where should I dig the well? How about here? Or here? Or anywhere? Bro, water is everywhere underneath our feet. So you can just choose a spot and start digging. But there are ways to guesstimate where water is closer. In the past, people used drowsing or divining, which is when you use a Y-shaped stick pointing forward with palms up. Then you slowly walk around an area and when you walk over water, the stick points down because the water supposedly changes the magnetic field. And as we all know, wood is magnetic. No way this actually works. Oh, uh, it's pointing upwards. What does that mean? Look up, son. Ah! Okay, once you find a place, you can start digging. You can use a shovel and do it by hand, or you can use an auger and speed up the process, but it would still be by hand. Or you can kidnap a child and make them do it. You can use sludging, which is when you move a pipe up and down in a wet hole. Oh, sorry. The trick is, when the pipe is going up, you cover the top to make it airtight, so it sucks up the dirt. Then, when it's going down, you uncover the top, so that dirt can come through, like a dirt pump. Or you can use an electric drill, or whatever other technique your monkey brain can think of. But, dirt likes gravity, just like I like insurance fraud. So, the dirt might cave in and fill in the hole. To prevent this, you can line the inside of the well with bricks, stones, plastic, or even concrete. Then, build a wall on the outside, so stupid children don't fall in and a roof so birds don't poop in it. But how to access water? Okay, you can add a pulley system with a bucket so people can manually get water, but the well can still be poisoned, trashed, or infected. So people develop the pump system. This keeps the hole closed and the water is gotten from a hand pump. But how does pump work? Basically, at the bottom, there's a foot valve that lets the water in but not out. Then the hand cranking pulls the water up through suctions. Look at this gift, bro. I don't know how to explain it. Okay, but how to clean? Can I use Democrat? No, bro. Some people put gravel at the bottom to filter out the big stuff you can boil the water to get rid of the germs you can use a small dose of chlorine or like our caveman ancestors send it to water treatment oh, ah, ah, ooga, ooga, ooga. Oh, okay. Starts pumping. Wait, don't pump too much. Don't you know about the cone of depression? Oh, I know way too much about it. If you pump too much water from a well, you can create a dry cone-shaped area where the water can't fill in fast enough. If you continue pumping, it can also dry out nearby wells. Kind of like how I dried up my wells. Fargo account trying to commit insurance fraud.